Okay, welcome back. Now, if you look in my assets folder, I've now got a few images. This is of a trip to Thailand. Um, so I've got my images, I'm gonna go into the gallery, 10 of them, and I've got these extra ones. And I was deciding what I wanna use for a logo, the same way the How Farm has a logo. I was thinking of this fire one, but then I thought it doesn't really, um, give the impression of Thailand so much so I thought I'd go for this uh, Buddha so I'm going to open the Buddha up and this is going to be my logo so I'm going to start cutting cutting it up and uh, getting rid of the background so here we go so I've opened the image up um, it's coming the correct way around uh, I want to just turn this off from background so double click on it and just call it layer zero. This way it means that when I do cutouts like this, it will be a transparent background, as you can see the checkers behind it. So let's just get it all straight. So I'm gonna pull a ruler down. If your view rulers aren't showing, go to view and then make sure that rulers are turned on. And then I'm gonna pull this line down like that. I'm going to select around the part I want, which is that. Then I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform, and just begin to shift it slightly until you get it straight. That's not too bad. OK, and then double click to set it back down. Now, using this, um, straight edge tool, the polygon lasso tool, don't select the freehand tool. That allows you to do this. We want more control than that. So you press control D to get rid of selection. Go into here and pick this one, which is sort of a linear control. Use the um, zoom tool to zoom in. You can use it here, or you can press control plus on your keyboard and what we're going to do is very carefully plus it. I'm not going to show you the whole process, but we're going to go round, start to cut it out, go in as close as you can. Um, control, you can let go of your mouse by the way, and you click to each point. You can come in as close as you like, and when you get to the when you get to the edge like this, you can knock it up with the mouse. So it allows you to work your way around. Well, finally, when you've worked your way right the way around, and you come back to here, so you'd be going ding, 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 you've worked all the way around, then just double click. And then you need to inverse the selection. Let me just show you quickly here. So deselect, so pretend that I've gone right the way around it, nice and tight. Do, 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 do. Not very tight, is it? But there we go. I've gone right the way around the selection and I've met back up. You don't want to delete this because it will be deleting the center. We want to delete the outside. So you can go to select and then inverse and then you can delete and then you should end up with a nice tight cutout. Um, just to make sure a little bit I then want you to go to select and then modify and then feather and set the feather to about two or three and then click OK and then press the backspace delete a couple of times. This will just feather the edges. If you look you can see it's just taking away a little bit of the edge. If I go back up one you can see it better. Let me go to my history and just go up a couple. So now if I click, you notice it's just feathering the edge. That means colours underneath will blend into this colour. So get it to that stage and I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll start um, stylizing it a bit more.